For 2021, the Escalade has been redesigned. It has a lower load floor and new rear suspension, and this comes with a double advantage since the rear seats now feel more spacious and the ride is smoother. That's the word in the streets. Overall, the Cadillac is larger than its predecessor. This translates into more cargo room and more comfort for the people in the back. Everyone can stay comfortable and entertained thanks to an advanced infotainment system. A 36-speaker sound system is available, and a column shifter has been replaced with an electronic console shifter. Under the hood, there have been some changes. A diesel engine is now available, and all models come with a 10-speed automatic transmission. On the outside, there have been some upgrades. The grille is larger, and the headlights have a slightly different design that can accentuate the width of the SUV. Today, some pros and cons, reasons why you shouldn't and should consider buying the 2021 Cadillac Escalade. Let's get started. First, today's show is brought to you by MyCarMatch.com. It's my go-to website for the best new and used car deals broken down by zip code. You can find a link in the description below for a free quote today. The first reason you should avoid it, the cost. The base trim, which is the luxury, costs over 75 grand. The price only goes up from there, ending with a premium luxury platinum and sport platinum that costs about six figures. I can't think of too many people who would be happy to fork over that much money. However, those willing to spend that much will certainly be in for a treat with this vehicle. If you can afford it, then you're not worried about it being a gas guzzler, which it is. Its estimated fuel economy is 15 miles per gallon in the city, 20 on the highway. Given recent innovations in the industry and the abundance of hybrids, some people will be turning elsewhere for vehicles that can do better in this regard, I'm sure. One more downer or con, its style isn't for everyone. There is an unmistakable style to the Escalade, but not everyone will agree with the choices that Cadillac has made, most likely. They may prefer something less boxy and imposing. On the positive side, bigger means better. Size definitely matters when it comes to full-size SUVs. After all, a main attraction of these vehicles is its ability to hold all sorts of cargo and passengers. The 21 Escalade is eight inches longer than it was in the previous model year, and the floor has been lowered, as I mentioned. This provides a little more cargo space, as well as 10 more inches of third row legroom. The third row may have once been something to avoid, if possible, but not anymore with the Escalade. There are plenty of engines available to choose from as well. Standard on this model is a 6.2 liter V8, generating 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque. To maximize efficiency and provide the best results, the dynamic fuel management system can adjust the number of cylinders that are in use. In some cases, the engine can do just fine on two cylinders. In other cases, all eight will be used. Also available with the Cadillac is a Duramax turbo diesel with displacement of 3 liters. It comes with 277 horsepower and the same amount of torque as the gas-powered engine. The diesel has a towing capacity of 8,000 pounds, which is comparable with the 8,200 towing capacity of the gas engine. Another big plus, space for cargo. There is 121 cubic feet of storage space inside the Escalade. In the Escalade ESV, which is longer, the cargo area has a volume of 142.8 cubic feet with all rear seats folded down. These numbers are really impressive and they give drivers like you a lot of freedom when it comes to bringing gear, luggage, sports equipment, or anything else you want to bring with you when you travel. Like I said, price point beginning at 75 grand is a big deal as well as the gas prices, but the trade-off is power and cargo and passenger space. If you're still shopping, you might want to check out the Lincoln Navigator or the Land Rover Range Rover. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Adios. And that wraps it up for this episode of the Everyman Driver Car Show. Again, check out our sponsor below, mycarmatch.com. It's my go-to website for the best new and used car deals broken down by zip code. You can find a link below for a free quote today. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.
Hey, I want to let you know about a new feature on EverymanDriver.com. It's a car payment calculator you can use anytime when you're trying to figure out what your potential loan amount is and the monthly payment figure. So what you do is you type in the vehicle price, your down payment, trade-in figure, sales tax, interest rate, and the term of the loan. Click calculate, and then you'll figure out the loan amount and the monthly payment. It's a free tool now available on EverymanDriver.com.